Screen is visible, right? Yes. So, or anonymous, right? Hello, anonymous. Right. Yes, yes. Uh, so, have you I mean gone through the previous slide or uh, recording? No, I actually I did not get time because yesterday I was in a blocker call, so full. Okay. I could not attend and then since yesterday night also and then since today morning also we are in the we are we are, we are in call. So now only okay. I got some time to join this call. So today I'm going to in uh, introduce one service that is EC2. Okay. So okay. I discussed these things to yesterday also. There are some common text I have shared with them. So it, EC2 is computing service okay means elastic computing service so means when you uh, just a minute so um, yeah yeah we couldn't hear you before what uh, we couldn't hear you your voice broke actually oh, okay. actually hmm. now am i audible yes so uh, this is the service model on image okay so that context i want to share so is a uh, infrastructure as a service three services are there in the aws premises three there are three services one is infrastructure as a service one is platform as a service one is software as a service so ec2 is an example of infrastructure as a service where I will create my applications, my servers, all kind of thing over been managed by EC2, AWS. So this thing will be managed by vendor. Vendor here refers to AWS or cloud. Okay. So EC2 is an example of infrastructure as a service. So uh, when we require some web applications, so we need some server, right? We need some database, we need some application oriented code. So these servers, this is equivalent to the here EC2 instances, okay, mm -hmm. in the AWS. So there is three or four ways you can connect your instances. So that might be on Linux instances, just I'm still one thing, and there is Windows instance. You can connect any of them. If you are working in a Linux environment, then you will create the Linux instances. If you are working as a Windows environment, then you work as a Windows. You, you can connect the Windows server. Then question is how we can create these instances, right? right. Now, uh, this screen is visible, right? AWS Management yeah. Console. Yeah. This is your first page. When you log in, after logged in, you get this kind of page. Okay. So in the AWS management console, you can variety of services. You can see there are many services. If I, there are many services, compute service, machine learning services. And before uh, dig dive into the all services just I want to recap one thing this is the core services of AWS so there are many services but we can group by something like compute compute is one service zone storage database networking application management so EC2 comes under this compute services okay, okay. you can see that Amazon EC2 ECR, ES, all are computing services. Means if you need some quick, even it is Docker application, okay? That time EKS service we are using. If you are using that Linux environment or big data service, that I will go to the ECR. This is a container based service. And EC2 is normal application. Means 
uh, when you are working in the servers, so server code you have to given right, and you have entered into the server right. Same thing in the EC2. These servers are managed by cloud, not the on premises. We are not authorized person to manage this kind of things. Cloud will manage. So first we have to create this thing, then cloud will manage right. So this is the step. This is our EC2 instance. When you write EC2. You can see this is the dashboard. Okay. In the dashboard, every summary you can get means instance running. How many instances are running? How many key pairs are there? What is how many storage volumes are there in the AC2 instance? One storage power. So all things are you can get understood from this EC2 dashboard. Load balancing, auto scaling, you can automatically scale up and scale down. Means when your uh, so many web servers are required, you can auto scale means you can scale up your ec2 instances you can scale down your ec2 instance so all the things are there so first i am going to introduce that ec2 instances this page when you click you can get this type of page i have created only one okay now okay. another ec2 instance i'm going to create so you can click launch instance When you click launch instance, you can get this kind of screen. Okay. This is a tab based means choose AMI. So AMI here refers to Amazon machine image means when the servers are coming as a marketplace as a image, this all image of the servers. Okay. These images are coming right. And this is uh, some servers are paid means you have to pay for this application this is a pay as per your model something is free so you can get this kind of label for free tier eligible okay this is free is cloud has provided this free tier for your experiment how you can do this kind of thing okay so that's a free tier eligibility is given so here amazon linux 5 uh, this this is the uh, Amazon Linux free tier eligibility. You can get your marketplace. So marketplace means variety of EC2 instances you can get from here. Okay. Okay. So my emails and you can create also your own custom AMI. I I will show you how to create the custom AMI. But first, quick start, I will create the one EC2 instance. Simple. You can select. After selection, step two is choose an instance type. You have to choose uh, the instance type. Which instance type you want to choose? So this is called that. Amazon EC2 provides a wide selection of instance type. Free tier instance type is there. And uh, here I'm selecting this thing, free tier eligibility. This is free, there is not paid. And by default, the storage is coming EBS. Uh, EBS, elastic block storage is provided. Means you need some storage, right, in the server. So mm -hmm. this thing is given, okay and computational power once virtual core cpu they are provided the number of virtual cpu for the instance means instance is ready and virtual cpu used for the processing the instances right this kind of thing so this is the t2 micro and then go to the next configure launch details so here you can see the configuration right so number of instances how many instances you want to launch at the first time 
in my case, if you count three, you can count four, multiple. So first, I want to create only one instance, okay? And I will come the network subnet. Network means networking purpose that I will discuss. Subnet is still uh, not required for that. Uh, the launch instances, EC2 instances, not required. So subnet means you can say that your total networking is divided some parts. Okay. So this is called the subnet and the public IP and your DNS host name. So many options are there. So purchasing option, you can see that request post uh, spot instances. You can, so this current price is given. Hmm. For that, so I'm not using this, not check this thing so now. Coming under the user data, okay. This is the first bootstrapping script, means when the server is ready. Hmm. So, that time, after my means after ready the server, the how which kind of code you are want to introduce. Means first page, if I am not using anything. So why do I run the server? The default page is not coming. By default page from the uh, EC2 has provided this page is coming. But I want to create something different kind of code. Okay, so that's why this user data, the first script, what what you require that you can add. So as a text, I can show. So this is my first script. This is a Linux based instance, so I will add Linux code over there. Understood these things? Yeah. After that, I will add next. You can see the whole air storage. So by default, Linux instance given 8 GB of storage. You can add multiple store volume. This is the external storage. Okay. Means storage means this thing. You can see that by default C drive is there, right? So you can mount D drive, B drive in your instances. So that's why this thing. You can add your volume and <clears throat> then volume. You have to call on figure. So by default, 8 GB is there. And delete on termination means when you dispose this account, means this instance, this server, when you delete, so that time, mm -hmm. that's why this stage mm -hmm. egg box is there. Delete on termination. All root volume will not be mounted over there. So checkbox should be added over here. So your instance will be launched with the following storage device setting. You can add additional EBS, additional volume you can also add, okay. So that time it's the EBS volume. You can see the device, different, different device settings are coming, okay. So right now I'm not adding anything. Here termination means uh, um, deletion termination of the... Means deletion, deletion of the EC2 instance, termination means, okay. Your when I you can write, uh, run your instances, you can stop your instances, you can terminate your instances. Three state, three are instance state over there. Okay. Okay. And then okay. And volume type is by default general purpose SSD is coming. Next. Add tag. This is a JSON value. E value pair means this is the identifier of your EC2 instance. Okay, so name first instance this thing add uh, running from today. Just text I have added this thing. So this is a key and value pair you can add. So this will be attached in your EC2 value. Okay. This will be used at the time of searching or 
Uh, this is being used one. at the time of initialization of your EC2 server. Okay, so it can tag internally. Means when you uh, search this value key value pair, so mm. you can get this server. So that's why it's a tag tagging option. Now the main important thing is that your security group. Security group means your ports, right? Means uh, by default uh, the SSH. We are using the SSH type. Okay, you have uh, HTTP type means if I am not add any HTTP type rule, so my instance will not be running from the browser. So SSH type. This is one type. So this protocol is TCP. Okay. So this is added. And zero zero means star. Anywhere you can from anywhere you can access your EC2 instance. So security group name, you can my own security group. You can add any list, uh, description over there. Now I am add one rule. This is my HTTP rule. So there you can see that port when I choose the HTTP, then port is automatically changed to 80, right? This port for the HTTP is 80. So I want to Create one thing, sorry, in here. So three ways we can connect our EC2 instances. This is the this is called the user. SSH okay and SSH you have these three ports we have right one is 2022 20, uh, for SSH another is 80 the HTTP and another is three three eight nine RDP. Okay, RDP means remote desktop protocol. These things remote desktop connection. Okay, this way. So, we can say that this age is a way to log in to Linux machine. Access web application to 
480 okay these things oh sorry one minute something This is uh, my if somebody wants to log in directly EC2 server, so it can be denied. Means you have to check through the these protocols. You have to come with this protocol, right? Means if you connect through the SSH, then your validation the it's a validation part. It, it, the user can be validated and everything is okay, then you can access the EC2. You cannot directly connect your this uh, the user cannot directly connect EC2 from from his location. Okay. So this, this is the main thing. So H, you can connect to HTTP, you can connect to SSH, and you can connect to RDP. Now you understood it all. Hello? Mm -hmm. you see? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Now connect that HTTP TCP rule and add another rule. You can add the custom TCP also. You can add All HTTPS is a 443. This and add it and for the HTTPS. This can be 443. Now Review and launch. You can see. So the review launch is showing that improve your instance security because I am allowing to all of them, right? Zero 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 instance it means every is open to world. For the zero zero instance means everybody can access. Now you can check. This is your review launch page. Means you can check and you have to launch your instances. When I launch that time, this type of page are appearing. So I have to create one key pair value. Okay. This key pair value may uh, you have uh, from EC2 instances, some PEM file will be downloaded in my system. Is it will create some private key and we have to pub, uh, exchange to the public key. So this is my EC2 launch table. Okay. So download. This is a PM file. You can see. Yes. And then launch instance it takes some time now you can see that your instance are ready and view instance
the state is pending. So it takes some time for when the state is running, that means we can access and we can add one name. Take some time, the initialization state is there. Now uh, it takes some time. So initial after initialization, then we can start. Okay, we can get the details. Uh, your instance type, instance ID, your uh, state is running, the public IP address. This is all are showing over there. The C security. So currently there is no IAM role. I am not attaching any IAM role. So by default. In a normal uh, web server we are running so networking storage storage you can see that only root device we have added over here and status checks so it's still initializing state try to copy and paste you can see the first web server is running you can see this is coming from your server this script yeah, that is this file hello world okay 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 so one more thing we can notice from here the value inside this is the value this is not your public ip this is your private ip right so private ip this value is showing here but we can access through the public ip not the private okay private okay here only private key will be showing right private okay. ip is showing okay so if i will Stop the instance. Okay. And stopping mistakes uh, one or two bit, right? Try to refresh and stop, right? The state is stop. Now, there is no public IP is attached over here, but private IP is there. Again, we'll connect, start the instance. Refresh. Until and unless the instance running the this new IP is allocated, right? 
the private ip is same you can check this value now you can if i will hit it will no longer be responded because although the pub private ip is same but the public ip is different over there right for the same instance yeah. so when we stop and start the instances so every time public ip is changed so but private ip is even constant okay mm -hmm. the site is not coming it's, i i i'm out this day again we copy so if i want to means keep a static or i want to refer uh, to that this, time uh, you have to you have uh, that time aws introduce elastic ip address elastic ip address now you have to show that thing elastic not blocks to be last one minute. Last IP address is there. Mm. Ah, elastic IP, right? This thing. So just uh, create some ela one elastic IP over there. Okay. Allocate elastic IP address. Oh, value is there. Um, add new tab. Value. and allocate something is missing just me allocate associate elastic ip choose your instance so this is my uh, one minute two instances are there no? i have to check for who with whom i have added instances coming in that pm Let's so you have to associate this instance, right? Elastic IP. Okay. And this is your private IP, right? The private IP is coming from this panel. Let's see what happened. And associate. Okay. Uh, sometimes. You can see the IP address is changed, right? From the earlier. Now, right. try to check this thing. Stop my instance. Now, try to start the instance.
take some time. It's running, right? We can we can check that these values remain same, right? Yes. Uh, until and un means I have allocated the elastic IP over there. Means the value is never changed. This IP and you can try to connect that elastic IP. Public IP. Something is coming, right? right? So this is the difference between the constant ID and the elastic IP. So constant IP means whenever you, your instance is changes. So every time the public IP, public DNS, the public IP will be changed. But now it will remain same when you add the elastic IP. Okay. Now one more thing that I want to show that this value we have added, right? PM file. But our instances, this is a browser from the browser we can show but we have to physically show the instance right the linux instance so how can we do that so that's why we have to create your pm file is there private key file is there and we have to convert is convert to the epk file let's see what happened so you have put pn system yeah. you have load private key and this is an instance demo app to open and this value is converted to my private key as a ppk file then say I have added right now. Open your putty. From here, we have to add the instance. So, one more thing that is also important for the Linux system, uh, Linux OS, the default username is EC2 user. Windows administrator. There are three use cases. If my system, if my OS is Linux, connect to Windows. RDP. In that case, So from the Windows server, I want to connect first. Uh, so EC2 user. I to add the value in the host name. 
at the rate of your public IP address. SSH or browse it, download EPK file and open accept. My system is ready, right? This is my mission, Linux mission. Some Linux command we can write. Who am I? Easy to use it. And ls is not coming. PWD is the present working directory. So you can connect to the easy to instance. Okay. Is there any question? No, that is fine. Okay. Uh, now my Linux machine is there. So we can connect our machines and we can run the means web server is ready. So for uh, what I will do if my instances is RDP. That I want to show. You can see. Three ways we can connect. Okay. So you can see the EC2 username by default and we will connect. This is a browser based connection. Same machine but it is a browser based connection. From the browser we can connect but this is not secure. Because you only connect but in the session will be lost anytime. But the main security pur pur purpose for that IP address with that you have to exchange your public and private key and you can do that. Session manager, you can also create the session manager and also connect. Now, Try to create one Windows VM. Instances. Launch instance. So these are all Windows VM, right? Try to add this thing because these are free tag. These all are free tag eligible. Okay. In, in, in Windows VM, the same thing. There is no changes over here, but one change. Uh, that might be here also not changes but user data will add the, that time script is different for the user data this is a script or cell script will add this is the initialization script
and we notice that by default windows vm size is 30 gb you can also increase 23 gb we cannot we also edit this size but by default 30 gb they will provide and add next step add tab see the port is 3389 okay and review and launch you hello here download keep here now launch instance oh. download keeper is whatever one minute launch instance create no keyboard already exit right for that person Okay. So I'm going to put a few instance. It's a step. It takes some time. Now, in not other, let's see, connect. Now, see the RDP client is there, right? So, you have to download your remote desktop. You get your administrator by default. I told that username is that administrator. Now, how do I get the password? Click here. Auto generated password not coming because some initialization.
पासवर्ड वैल्यू नो एप टू ब्राउज योर कीपेयर डाउनलोड सिस्टम फाइल ओपन and it will decrypt the password and password is given this is my password copy and add password over here this is your rdp i want to create connect Remove choice. Use different account administrator. By default, the username, right? Hello. Let's see. Oh, something is problem. It did not work. One minute. Mm -hmm. Public DNS. What is it? One minute. I think this is the expense of the
растет. Yes. Oh. You can enter into the Windows VM. You can see it's mounting, it takes some time. And this is our virtual machine in the Windows. It takes some time to initialize and then it will be ready. Hello. Yes. It can be. Okay, so we are understood, right? How we can create and launch the instances. Right. And we also do this script is running or not just check one minute. Uh, copy and paste the power cell script I have written. And you can see same the machine already. And here you have to install your IIS and then run anything. Content, backend, any kind of things you can add over there. So start. Same machine, but this is virtual. By default, see that you can mount the other volumes, right? Tomorrow I'll see, I'll show that other volumes, are how you can add. From D, you can mount D drive, C drive, V drive, everything you can add. So we can create uh, this kind of instance in our account, right? Yes, yes. And this is the VM. Means uh, suppose the use case of that, uh, uh, right? Anybody is uh, working in the front end application, somebody working in the back end, right? Some machines mm -hmm. are not working. So you create the VM. Ultimately, it's an image, a machine, right? And allocate to them. They will work over there, upload the systems, upload all content, and then it will be published anywhere with that public IP address. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. So this is the use case of VM. So multiple instances you can run it to the EC2 instance. Mm -hmm. And if you have security group, I mean the sub the subnet networking is there. So as per the network, is, it will run. So in the range is there, right? Some range. With, the, with this range, within this range, the value is working. Otherwise, not working. So currently, explicit, explicitly, I have added 000. That means everywhere anybody can access the VM. If I will uh, give you the access details, you can also access. OK. Tomorrow, okay. uh, today we can end here. Okay. And tomorrow we'll show that adding new volumes. Okay. And Kaushik, are we done? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I'll I'll just stop the recording then. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Okay, thank you.